So this is a quick way to use the pen tool. This is the pen tool option here on the left. What you choose here on the bottom top, you can either choose shape, path or pixels. I usually go for shape. Whenever you make a selection, like this, try and put the dots right before and right after you want a corner. This way you can make the prettiest corners. So I'm starting out with a simple shape here. This will be a cup. So I made this full circle and have it end connection here together. I'll do one again. Click, 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 click. Another one. Up. And when you see this circle, that means you can connect and end the whole full circle as one shape. So yeah, it's pointless to have two, so I'll go back to one. Once you got the shape, you can always alter the connection points when it comes to position with this tool. Tap on the corner and you can move it around wherever you want it to be. So I'm going to tidy it up a bit, make it a bit straight, like that. Same goes for these. Now that's all good fun, but that was not what we are going for. To make the corners, click on pan and you get this menu. Go for the bottom option, convert point tool. With that you can click on one of these connection dots and drag it the way you want it to. Just like this. Now we only want the top bit to curve. I'm dragging that up to there and then tap on the bottom dot and drag that back to where it started. This way we only altered this top bit. So you can do that with all the corners. have a rounded out shape here. Now imagine you want an extra connection dot there to, to alter the shape. Add a plus. There, there, and there. Now you can drag that any way you want to. widen it up now if you want to remove dots of course it's the minus tap on a dot oh, and it's gone again and gone now this can get all messed up so when you t tick the bottom tool again and click on your starting point it will solve itself. Oop. Not always the way you wanted to. I mean, I lost my corner with doing that. I'm pulling that back. Removing this dot here and here, and then we're back to where we started. So, what if you'd like to move your object around? That's easy. Remember this arrow that makes you move the dots around? Click on it and instead of the arrow, you click the black arrow, which is path selection tool. This time when you click dot, you will move, be able to move the whole selection. Same goes for this tool, by the way. They have the same function. So another thing that's really handy when it comes with making pen tool shapes 
is you can have another layer linked to that shape by clicking Alt, hover over your layers and you see that the cursor you have will turn into an arrow and a square. Now click right between the layers and you see that your new layer will be linked to the shape. Now you can paint without going outside of this shape. Handy, right? Especially for live studies. Now there's another thing I must tell. These pen tool shapes are vectorized. That means they are turned into a smart object. If I wanted to paint on this same layer, I won't be able to. See? Oh no! But here it asks me, this shape layer must be rasterized before proceeding. Rasterize the shape? If I click OK, I won't be able to change all the dots that I had before, and it won't be vectored. But when I click OK, it's OK to paint on it again. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks!